Hello everyone. Welcome to this session of statistics. And today we are going to talk about the cumulative frequency distribution and its representation in a graph. The graphical representation of a cumulative frequency is called an ogive. An ogive are of two types, less than type and more than type. Now today we will talk about specifically the more than type. Now we wonder why the name more than type. To understand it better, let's take an example. Now I have a data regarding the daily income of some of the workers in terms of Indian rupees. Now this data is divided into five smaller groups. That means I have a group data with me. Now these groups are actually having a class size of 20. So there is a difference of 20 rupees in every group. So 100 to 120 is first group. 120 to 140, 140 to 160, 160 to 180, and 180 to 200. And also, these groups show us the number of workers that fall under the corresponding daily income categories. So that means that 12 number of workers have a daily income ranging from 100 to 120 rupees. 14 number of workers have a daily income ranging from 120 to 140 rupees, and so on. So this column is nothing but the frequency column because frequency is nothing but the rate at which something occurs. Frequency also denoted as F. Now we will try to add all the frequencies. So 12 plus 14 plus 8 plus 6 plus 10 will give us 50. So total frequency denoted as sigma F is 50. Now this is nothing but a frequency distribution among various groups of daily income. Now a frequency distribution can be easily converted into a cumulative frequency distribution. Cumulative frequency is nothing but the running frequency of every group. So we have to add frequencies at every single group. Now let us make a column for cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency is also denoted as CF. Now before we calculate the cumulative frequencies, let's come to the same point why the name more than type. In less than type, we actually take the upper limits such as less than 120, less than 140, less than 160. But in the more than type, we are going to take the lower limits. So we are going to say something more than 100, something more than 120, more than 140, 160 and 180. So in more than type we have to remember that we work with lower limits only. So let us write these lower limits down in another column. Hundred is the lower limit for the first group, 120 is the lower limit for the second group. 140 for the third, 160 for the fourth, and 180 for the fifth. So when we are going to calculate the cumulative frequencies of everything more than 100, so it will mean frequencies from 100 to 200. So every frequency will fall under this category. So we know the total frequency is 50. So 50 is the first cumulative frequency. Now, cumulative frequency of everything more than 120 will be 14 plus 8 plus 6 plus 10 because obviously these frequencies fall for the category more than 120 and we will exclude 12 because it is lesser than 120 that means 50 minus 12 will give us cumulative frequency for more than 120 similarly for more than 140 we'll calculate frequencies from 140 to 200 that is 8 plus 6 plus 10 and we'll exclude 14 and 12 so 12 was already excluded so 38 minus 14 will give us 24 
Similarly for the fourth and fifth group. So 24 minus 8, 16, 16 minus 6 will give us 10. Now notice, unlike in less than type category, the last running frequency actually matches the total frequency. But in this case, it is the first cumulative frequency that should match the total frequency. Now that we have calculated the cumulative frequencies and we know the lower limits, we shall plot these in a graph. As usual, the cumulative frequency is a dependent variable, so it will fall in the y-axis. And lower limits have been derived from the daily income group, which is an independent variable, so it will fall under x-axis. So we are going to plot the lower limits in the x-axis and we will plot the cumulative frequencies in the y-axis. So our data is ready and all the points are ready. Let's plot these points in a graph. Okay, so we have a graph paper ready with us and I have done some markings on the x-axis and the y-axis. So x-axis is the horizontal axis and daily income in terms of rupees has been plotted in the x-axis. Also the cumulative frequency has been marked over y-axis. Now if we can see there is a discontinuity on the x-axis because I have not kept the similar sizes between 0 to 100 and 100 to 110. So we actually make a key to mark the discontinuity in the graph. Now on the x-axis I have taken 2 centimeters as 10 rupees. So first we'll set the scales. On my x-axis, one centimeter will be five rupees. Similarly, on my y-axis, I have kept two centimeters as five units. So that means y-axis one centimeter would be two point five units. Now let's start by plotting the points so the first point for daily income was 100 and for cumulative frequency it was 50 so 150 will match here and we'll plot and we'll plot a point for 150 so 100 comes first and 50 comes next so this is nothing but x comma y similarly the second point was 120 and 38 so 38 is somewhere here after we have plotted five points we will join these points with a smooth hand curve so we are not going to use any scale but we are going to make a curve I have a smooth curve ready. So this is nothing but the distribution of cumulative frequency in a graph. Now in less than type, we get an increasing curve, but in more than type, we have to remember, we get a decreasing curve. Now we can also find the median from this particular graph. In order to find median, first we need to find something called as n by two. So n in this case is 50 so 50 divided by 2 will give us 25 so 25 is the n by 2 now from this point we have to touch the curve and then we have to touch the x-axis to find the median so let's join 25 with the curve so from this point we have to go and touch the x-axis Now we can see it is this point which is the median and this point is 137.5. So we found the median from a cumulative frequency distribution or an OGI.
So let's quickly summarize about the more than type OCHI. First, identify the actual lower limits from your data. Then form a cumulative frequency table. Now plot the lower limits onto the x-axis and plot the cumulative frequencies onto the y-axis and set the scales accordingly. Now plot all the points and draw a freehand smooth curve. Now we can find the n by 2 value and the, that value can be plotted and we can touch the curve. From that point touch the x-axis and that particular point on the x-axis will be the median of your group data. Now that was all about the more than type method. To learn more, please visit our website www.letstude.com. Keep watching, keep learning and do subscribe our channel.